Welcome to Rotary and Serving Our Community. My name is Wade Nomura, and today we're going to take a look at the 4th of July and what happens at that time on that date with Rotary. With me today I have Connie Burns from the Goleta Noontime Club That's right. and Scott Misman from the Goleta Club. Hi Thank there. you both for joining us. Connie, we're going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've lived in this community, Goleta, Santa Barbara, actually in between, for 44 years. And I've been active in the community and a lot of uh, non nonprofits. I uh, was a junior high Spanish teacher for a long time, and then I uh, managed properties in town. And, uh, and then I have retired from those, and I spend a lot more time now with my volunteer activities. And Rotary, I, I joined Rotary in about 1993 or 1994, and I've been very active with that program for a long time. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How about you, Scott? Well, I'm uh, fifth generation Santa Barbara, so I have a lot of history here and I, a lot of roots. I just uh, really love it here. Uh, of course, growing up here, I went to all the local schools, uh, played a lot of sports, in both in high school and, and college. And uh, uh, very early on, I, I started working computers back in the early 80s. So um, I've been a computer person, now working at UCSB as an infrastructure architect. Um, and uh, kind of a boring life compared to Connie's, really. I mean, <laughs> doing the same old thing. But, uh, you know, I, I, I have a, uh, three children. and. And uh, they're fortunately are all in town and, and uh, keep busy with Rotary. I've been a, rot a Rotarian since uh, 1999 and uh, enjoy that very much. So what got you into Rotary? Uh, a friend of mine well, I met at uh, when I worked for General Motors at Delco, uh, Jack Easterbrook, who unfortunately has passed since. But uh, I, at some point, I think in your life, you kind of get interested in wanting to give back. And so uh, Jack talked to me about Rotary, and I felt it was a good way to give back to the community and, and start giving, giving since, uh, you know, when you get to a certain age. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And Connie, how about you? Well, I was um, working for David Brewer, who was president of the Goleta Chamber of Commerce, and he had me helping out with a program um, called the uh, Goleta Queen Contest, and that was the Chamber of Commerce sponsored that, and it was affiliated with the Goleta Valley Days. And I worked for several years on that with Tammy DeBroton, and then she left, and then the, the um, chamber decided to drop that program. Well, the Rotary Noonti uh, Noontime Club decided they wanted to pick it up, and so they invited me to join Rotary Noontime Club and bring that program with me. And we evolved that program from a queen contest where the queen had to be pretty and sell a lot of tickets, <laughs> the one who sold the most won. We've evolved it into a community service recognition program where we honor high school seniors who have done and given a lot to the community. Right. And right. I've been doing that for 25 or so years. <laughs> oh, wow. Good for you. Yes. Um, we are here looking at the uh, 4th of July event. Yes. So, um, Connie, you're the one probably has the most history of this. Well, Tell us how this started, because it's 19th year, right, that we just completed? Well, it, I'm not sure that that number is correct. It may be <laughs> okay. the 18th year, because uh, okay. I, um, I did some checking, and I found that it actually started in 1998, which okay. makes it 18 years. Um, and it was started by um, Randy Rosness, who was a, a big person, a business person in our community, and uh, Michael Bennett, who is now one of our city council members, they got the idea that they wanted a big um, family fun um, event for on the 4th of July for the Goleta community where we didn't have to go all the way downtown to the fireworks down there and then the parking is terrible and there was gangs and there was lots of stuff that we didn't approve of going on down there. We wanted our own family friendly one. Um, Drug-free, alcohol-free, alcohol gang-free, with a very low entrance fee and free to all kids. And that is what we've turned it into, and we're very proud of what we've accomplished in those years. And it was just our club that started it. But it got so big, and we worked so hard at it, uh, that we invited the evening club to <laughs> join us and share in the profits Great. and share in the work, of course, because we're a small club, they're a small club, and combining our efforts made it easier for both of us. And so we've had that relationship since 2004, working on the fireworks together, our two clubs. Great. And yeah. Scott, is this the uh, first year for you then to actually uh, head the efforts? Or uh, No, I've done, done it uh, two other times before. Times. Yeah, I, I did it back in, I think it was 08, 09, and then I think 09 and... 
2010, I believe, is, is the numbers. Uh, right after I was uh, our, uh, our club president, um, because I had so much visibility, they said, oh, you, uh, you want to do this now? Uh, so, yeah, I've done it a couple of years in the past. And so uh, this year they, uh, with a lot of things, you know, you always struggle with volunteers and, and uh, getting people to step up. So they asked me if I would do it again. And I said, sure. And it's really all about the people that you get to help you. It's not really necessarily you. So True. that's that's the important thing. So, so what do you see uh, yourself about the big benefit that the community gets out of this? And why would you uh, spearhead it so many times? Well, I think it is a big community service event. You know, yes. it's it's something that I, I think the community enjoys being uh, coming together on such a, a, a day to celebrate the, our, our independence. And as Connie mentioned, uh, it's it's more of a family uh, family friendly event. Uh, you know, the, the, I think it's easier to get to. It's it's smaller, um, and uh, we just do a lot of things to make it family friendly with the with the games for the kids and and the music and it's. Um, just a nice area to come to in, in, in the park uh, versus downtown, which is a little chaotic downtown, you know. And, um, and um, there's so many people downtown because it's traditional downtown as well. So we, we, uh, we pulled in something and decided it was, I, I just figured it was a really great event to support. Great. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, you got some pictures here. Let's jump into the pictures. Oh, sure. Uh, first one we have um, is actually the sign for Gersh Park itself. Uh, you guys take over pretty much the whole area, correct? That's right. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> the first event was held at the at Harder Stadium, the soccer stadium at UCSB. Oh, cool. And the first event had, uh, we featured the fireworks were set off down in the field, and we had skydivers come in and land in the middle of the field. It was fabulous. <laughs> that would be interesting. And then we had to leave that field, and we went on to Gersh Park, and we liked that almost as much. Yeah, yeah no, it's been a nice one for you. Yeah. Next picture we have shows the sponsorships, um, different sponsors that you have. Uh, there's quite a few of them from what I've seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the sponsors help out with the actual cost of the events. And right. Yeah, that's correct. We benefit that um, Deckers, um, their, their goal is that all the children get in free. And so the amount they pay accounts for that. Oh, nice. We're lucky to have them as sponsors. Very nice. Next picture we have are the jumpy houses. Looks like you had a full fleet of those out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty popular, I'm guessing. Right. They, <laughs> they look, didn't quit, quite look like that when all the kids were in them, <laughs> no. swarming the... <laughs> we stuck in it in an early picture just right. so we could see the bouncy <laughs> yeah, <right>. houses. <laughs> and you bounce it all over otherwise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the um, picture we have of the uh, concession area. This is only one of the concessions, correct? Right. That's right. And that is sponsored by or run by which group? Uh, that's the South Coast Church, the community okay. church. Okay. Uh, they're one of the nonprofits that um, uh, came in to um, raise a little funds for themselves. So uh, they do, they come in and do hamburgers and hot dogs, a traditional uh, Fourth of July kind of food. Mm -hmm. And so that's, uh, they've, they've been with us for quite a number of years now. Nice, very yeah. nice. And so do they usually get the same spot the concession stand? Yeah, so they, they, get the, they nice. get the priority building. You know, it's got, it's got <laughs> yeah, a little, that is a nice building, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it is. It's got a little kitchen in it, and so it uh, works out real well for them. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. And then you also have uh, people, vendors that come in, right. bringing their so cards. That's right. Next picture right. here. This is a, what is it, the churros bin there? Yeah, churros, that's Fernando's right. churros and, and burritos. And, okay. and so it's it's one of the uh, food trucks that we bring in. It's act, looks like it's actually a trailer, but there was a couple of food trucks there uh -huh. that, uh -huh. that, uh, that come in. And, and of course, they're for profit. So any of the, the for-profit organizations that come in actually give us a, a, a little bit of, of uh, benefit from that as far as the um, a piece of their uh, oh, profits. Nice, so, nice. so so it works out real well. Out. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So the, the nonprofits they they keep all of their proceeds and and some of the for profits actually share their proceeds. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. works out well. And it helps out for the community too because that park itself doesn't have any food. You got to walk <coughs> quite a ways to get anything. Yeah, that's correct. It does make it convenient for yeah, the for the convenient. attendees. Yes, yeah, so that's correct. Good. Next picture we have is a barbecue pit. And I believe that was for corn. Correct. Yeah, one of our Rotarians, Pat O'Malley, he does this every year. He's, you yes, know, he does. Pat's he's corn. the corn guy. Yes. Oh, he's yeah, the he corn is. guy. <laughs> he is, he is, and, and he loves it, though. He really enjoys it. He's got a crew that comes in and, and helps out with that. Very nice, and that yeah. kind of brings it back to the old school, the, the way it used right. to be. Yeah, right. that, that's a nice touch. I like that. Yeah, it was it good is. corn. Yeah. <laughs> it was good corn, yeah, yes. definitely so. Uh, we also had a... What was that one now? That's a Kona Ice. Kona Ice stand. Yeah, uh -huh. it's kind of like a snow cone guy, if you will. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Um, and uh, he was very popular, very popular with the kids. I guess it was a little warmer, so hotter days, I guess they do a little bit better. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sun broke out for this one, so yeah. it's good. Yeah, during the day, I think he does well, and at night, we have a, a coffee vendor that does pretty well that at night. That does quite well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, it gets, when it gets chillier. <laughs> Patriotic novelties. That's me. Yeah, tell That's us a little bit about I that. That's the booth I set up to earn money for scholarships for those uh, Glee to Teen of the Year candidates okay. I told you about. Oh, you and we, girls got to have their bling, so we have a lot of <laughs> sparkly things, little tiaras and uh, necklaces and hats. We've got all kinds of things for kids. Glow sticks. So that's the big seller. Everyone had to have their glow stick when it got dark, so we were... <laughs> inundated with folks getting their glow stick. It's just a lot of fun to have those patriotic that. novelties. And, and another one of the biggest sellers is flags. People were marching around with their with their flags. Mm -hmm. And we got and them it was there. Pretty popular. It was very popular. Yeah, you guys yeah. were busy the whole time. We did. <laughs> we have another one now. It's uh, the game section. A ring toss, I believe, is run by one of the groups. Uh, well yeah we we uh, actually rent the uh, the kind of a carnival games. Uh, from uh, Luna's, and they bring in the bouncers, they bring in the carnival games, oh. and uh, they set it up, tear it down for us. And then we have uh, groups of uh, volunteers that come in and help run it, uh, anywhere from high school volunteers to some from university, and, and uh, they help uh, uh, supervise and, and um, get the, the children through as they go through. So that's one of the, I'll, I'll consider it a carnival, carnival, carnival right. game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You also had a vendor there doing a, Balloons? Tie up balloons? <laughs> yes. Is that pretty he new? Made, you guys yeah, that and that year? was free for the kids. Nice. Uh, he made little animals and, um, you know, little poodles and ducks and things for the kids. They were just darling. He's very quick. It takes him about 30 seconds to do a twisted animal. They're just really cute. Yeah, he and does he gave them all. Well. Yeah, he gets tips. Yeah, he oh, gets yeah. tips. Yeah. And, and he's been with us but the last couple of years. very oh, generous in doing this for us. Nice. And I noticed yeah. he must do a lot because... He does them ahead, some of them. Some of them ahead, but I saw a big box of balloons over there. I mean, <laughs> right. a huge box. I couldn't imagine how many were in that box. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids just love him. He's great. Good, good. One more picture of uh, you oh, there, Connie, that's, in action there. That's it. That's back to us, selling those flags. <laughs> Look at those flags going out. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I did notice you had quite a few uh, different items, everything from hats to yeah. pins yeah. to bracelets and bracelets. Uh, yeah. necklaces. Now, do you keep those every year? Do you buy them during the year or just especially? Well, they have a really good long shelf life, so I can, if we don't sell them, which <laughs> we usually perishable. do, then we can hang on and sell them next year. Got it. At a reduced rate, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> and uh, one of the other booths that you had there was, uh, again, very popular, was the face painting and tattoos, correct? Face painting and tattoos. <laughs> Girls love their bling. They yeah. do love their bling. Yeah, we have face painting pretty much every year for the last yeah. few years. Yeah, That's the tattoos was a little popular. bit of an addition, I think, this year, but the yeah. face painting was is always very popular. Good, good. And you had the uh, climbing structure, the uh, rock climbing. Yeah, that's uh, from UCSB. Oh, okay. So, um, I, you know, I, as I think I might have mentioned, I work at UCSB and, and kind of somehow found out about it. I, maybe I saw it at the Lemon Festival, I don't remember, but um, I met the guys out there and, and uh, they said, sure, we'll bring it out. And, and they, um, they gave us a nice discount because we're a nonprofit. So uh, it was very popular with the, the older kids. It was, I saw that thing was going all the time, full yes, time. Yes. There's always somebody on that thing. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was nice. Yeah. Very good. And all ages, or do you have an age limit on those? Uh, we, I see some younger ones climbing up Yeah, there. we tried to keep it for children uh, Ten and older. Okay. Uh, just because of, of the logistics, <laughs> trying to have you know younger kids doing it, they they uh, tend to get a little frightened sometimes, mm -hmm. and, yeah, and the that. different kinds of gear you need. So, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, next picture I have of, of you there, Scott, doing the. Uh, Giving everybody instructions. I knew I had to put that in there for you. <laughs> that, nothing no. better than seeing a guy in charge. Well, we, well, we had to, yeah, well, that's, that's uh, myself uh, directing security. So I handled the security. We, we had uh, the Civil Air Patrol help us. We had uh, the Sheriff's uh, Cadet Program help us. And so I was giving them a little bit of directive. Uh, Detective Valadez was, was helping us as a lead for the uh, Sheriff's Cadets. And so we just felt we needed to have uh, a good security around the perimeter and, and uh, to take care of people. So. Now, roughly, what's, what's the count on actual security people that you have uh, at the event itself? Um, 
The uh, total count's around 20 people. Okay. So we have them scattered around at, at the ends of the streets uh, and walking the perimeter and, and at different key locations to mm -hmm. keep an eye on things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. Very good. And yeah. I noticed traffic also is included at the end of it. Um, it's run quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, that, and that's it was a, easy getting out of there. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of an add on, I think, because mm -hmm. the, the, the city of Galena really helps us out with that. So that was not not really part of this security. That was uh, something they, that's kind of beyond the perimeter security and traffic control that they helped us out with. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Next picture you have, uh, this was uh, seemed to be a pretty popular event. That is the uh, <laughs> pie eating contest. Right. Connie, tell us about that one. Well, uh, you can imagine what it's like. <laughs> There's a lot of faces that came up with a lot of whipped cream all over them. I think, were there, weren't they diving for something in there? Uh, something, yes, a they ring were, or something that, yes, with their there, faces. There was pieces in there were digging. Yeah, there was a lot of chaos crazy. and a lot of what, three three different items that they had to dig up and locate. Yeah. In, in the whipped oh, cream. Oh, is yeah. that it? Okay. <laughs> so it's not eating the whipped cream. It's finding the right. three uh, treasures. Uh, yeah, my wife figured that one out. She ran those, those games. That's right, she ran it. Right. Yeah, yeah, she ran good. that. And they, uh, they, when, of course, we did a watermelon eating contest. And also, uh, I don't know if you saw the hula hoop contest. We do that as well. Did, did see that one. Yeah, I missed oh, the watermelon great. eating contest. Kids yeah. just love, love it. They, they, they do. Yeah, we have to have them sign up because we get uh, <laughs> too many. Yeah. Now, uh, you say kids, but we also have a few adults in this next picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's for all ages. It was for all ages. So you run two different groups then. You run yes. the young ones first and then the uh, the older kids. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. More exactly. mature kids. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. And I have a picture here of the winner. I guess he was uh, pretty excited about yeah. that. And I heard he won <laughs> the year he before like a... or was runner-up the year before. Oh, is that right? I didn't hear that one. Yeah. 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 So, well, that's you can fun. see they're all having a good time. Yeah, yeah. And he had the system, by the way. He just jumped in there three times and found all three things. <laughs> yeah. No idea how he did it, but yeah. he was good. <laughs> and uh, another picture we have of the finish. Uh, this was a picture that was taken right before they got a little crazy and decided that they could start throwing the whipped cream everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the little ones didn't do that, but it's the big kids that oh, caused the problems. Right. <laughs> uh, it's all in fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was all in fun. Uh, next picture we have actually is of the Hula Hoop oh, Contest. Oh, yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize yeah. you had a picture yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah we, we put that one in there. And that's uh, all age groups or is it for younger ones? No, it's all age groups. Okay. And, you know, anyone could participate. We had, I don't know, somewhere around 50 Hula Hoops. So there was a lot of people doing it. And it's really a popular event. Right. Yeah. You know, and uh, there's a couple of kids that really do it well. You know, I think I think we had a uh, the same winner this year's last. Mm -hmm. I think. Right, right. Yeah. I actually, have a picture here being interviewed by uh, Eric oh, Onan. Right. Yeah, of, of the one that said she had won the year before also. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> and right. the reason I asked about that age group was because uh, it was all the younger ones that were the uh, finalists there. Yeah. yeah. Kept going. Yeah. Well, I Gracie, think they. Gracie, isn't that her name? Uh, Gracie, I'm not I sure. Think I think, think so. it was. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but she's uh, being I think interviewed the... in the next. Picture. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yep, she is. Yeah, I think the young ones kind of moved a little better than the older ones. <laughs> uh, a flex right. More flexible. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, MCs. You got Eric involved, and you have uh, another one. Right, Eric Onan is a past president of the Evening Club, and he has served as oh, he's just an excellent MC. He's done this for three or four years. Just does a great job. And with him in the picture. I can, you can see um, Nathan Alvarez is our Galita Teen of the Year in 2015, and he acted as co mc He did an excellent job. He, he just had so much fun doing it. He um, uh, supervised the uh, drawing of the raffle tickets and announced all the prizes and added a little information about each one and had a great time doing it. He's excellent. He's uh, heading off to SC in September. Ah. Yeah, he did an excellent job. He, he did, did a great We're job, real by proud the way. Of these, yeah, uh, of the year sure. Kids. And the next picture we have shows the the band. Yeah, huh? Area Fifty One. Area Fifty One yeah. with the patriotic pants. <laughs> Definitely patriotic <laughs> pants. Now, are they local or where are they from? Yeah, they're, they're a local a band. Local they they band. play at, at different events around town, and mm -hmm. and they're quite popular. It's just uh, popular. second or third second or third year we've had them. Uh, Anyway, yeah, we had them a couple least. of different years, yeah, yeah. and and uh, they're a good hit with the band, with mm -hmm. the with our customers, and, and they get a lot of dancing going, and that's there's the fun for the older folks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I did notice that a lot yeah. of dancing. Everybody's it dancing. Was good. Yeah. <laughs> Next picture we have shows the uh, actual staging of the fireworks itself. And yes. Seeing that, I guess they actually cordon off the area. 
That's correct. And sure. that area is secured for as a fall zone, fallout zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, that's itself. correct. Yeah, that's correct. We, we have to, uh, a certain perimeter we need to maintain as a safety zone uh, to make sure that uh, everything is safe for all of our attendees and anyone that's in the, in the area. And that's uh, one of the reasons for security is just to make sure that uh, safety zone stays secure. And uh, so, you know, in case there is any kind of a mishap, that uh, there's a clear area around the, the uh, where they set off the fireworks. So, now, unless it's pretty right. large, it actually yeah. encompasses a portion of the uh, Costco parking lot. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That is good. Yeah, that's yeah, good that's job. correct. Yeah. Keep it safe. Next picture we have is the uh, presidents. I guess they, the current presidents, get a little time on stage also. Yeah. So that's. A, <laughs> yeah, and I think that's right. isn't that the Galena Team of the Year introducing them? Right. Well, I think he's doing the countdown right they're, there. They're actually doing the last raffle oh, at that oh, point okay. in time, right oh, before okay. the countdown. That's Nathan, uh -huh, that's okay. of the year. And Scott Phillips is in the center. He's the president, just became president, uh, starting July 1st of our Goleta Noontime Rotary. And, and on the, the right is... John Holland, our, John our new Holland, president. Yes, that's correct. New president of mm -hmm. the Evening Club. Yep, right. And tell us about the uh, one that sung the uh, Star Spangled Banner. Do you know anything about her? Um, no, uh, one of your members, uh, Clara, uh, oh, okay. brought her on. I, I unfortunately was unable to uh, be introduced to her, um, but she did a wonderful job. She had a, a beautiful job. voice. She, she had a beautiful Great voice, Powerful, yes. just outstanding. Yeah, I, I'm not sure where she came from. I think she's a member of the girls' club, but I'm not certain. Could be. Okay. Yeah. She hit every note. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. And then you get the uh, fire department involved with the uh, flag raising. Yes. I saw that. That was very right. nice. Yes. Michael Bennett helps us out with that and, and our interface to the fire department. And the fire department is very gracious in coming each year and doing that for us. They're, they're a big supporter of our Great. program. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, saying the salute and singing the national anthem while facing the flag. Great. Yep. So next up, we just have a few pictures. We can yeah. let the pictures roll through as we talk about the event then. Uh, Overall, yeah. what kind of success did you figure you had there? Was it a good one this year, and how much does it bring in? Well, first off, the, the fireworks were spectacular. They were great. I think they were the best we've ever seen. They, there was a wide variety, Agreed. lots of different colors, lots of red, white, and blue, lots of patriotic music. It was just really inspiring. It was. Very I true. was very proud of that. It uh, was. It was a show great show. That show last night, uh, the other night. It was very good. 22 minutes in total? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. 22, 23 yeah. minutes, something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know we have to stop all air traffic. <laughs> Well, I, I did notice that. So, so we're, for, we're supposed to. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to. Although wait, we did have a plane come One through. One plane which came was, through. Which yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right through the show. I think it surprised everybody. <laughs> Maybe the pilot, pilot too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. And oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, it really was a good show, and I think we got a lot of compliments from it. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, uh, I, I think you asked another question about oh, uh, well, revenue. Re after, revenues yeah. and where it goes. Yeah, we. Uh, the event in, in total is 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 about a seventy-five to eighty thousand uh, dollar event. Wow, great. Um, and uh, you know, between the uh, what it costs, what we have to raise, the ticket price, the ticket um, funds, and our raffle. And uh, any profit that we have left over goes right back into the community through right. different programs that we do in the community and, and uh, some international efforts as well. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we don't leave anything in the bank. It all gets spent in the community. So. That's right. And attendance, what would you guess on the inside, not on the outside? Because you got a lot of, <laughs> well, a lot of us watching from the outside. <laughs> yes. I think we have about 5,000 come well, inside. Yeah. And, you know, that's probably only about a third of the people who see the event because there's another 10,000. Well, maybe less than third. Uh, <laughs> about 10,000 who stand around the gates, and they're very proud that they didn't have to pay to make come and see it for free. They don't realize it's a charity event, and we, right. you know, we really do. We really would appreciate the money. Sure. Uh, and then all the people up in the hills, which who watch it from a distance, I'm sure it's just beautiful. Um, so it serves a lot of people, right. other than the ones that are just down in in the stadium. They pay eight dollars to come in, just the adults. The kids are free, um, and we do. We split the proceeds between the two clubs, and our, speaking for my club, we sponsor um, uh, lots of youth programs, dic dictionaries to all the third graders in Goleta. We do uh, the uh, sponsor um, the Goleta Teen of the Year program, Los Prietos Boys Camp. We give scholarships Good. to young men who have accomplished a lot in going through their 
uh, rehabilitation program up at uh, Los Prietos. They have been felons, and they've turned themselves around, and we give them scholarships in the way of things that they can use, like tuition to City College, or a computer they can use for their work, or tools they can use if they want to become a mechanic, and that kind of thing to help these young men after they've done so well in the program. And we have other um, youth things that we do. We also um, have uh, we're part of a larger organization, uh, the Rotary International, of course, and we support the international projects like polio eradication mm -hmm. and all those, too. And uh, the Evening Club has their own pro programs that they support, too. Yeah, I think each club does uh, have their own charter and what they decide to do. Mm -hmm. we, we do a lot of scholarships for uh, local schools, mm -hmm. uh, particularly Santa Barbara City College. Uh, and we support a lot of nonprofits uh, like CADA, which is a, a Council of Alcohol and Drug um, and um, Addiction. And, um, you know, a lot of different efforts, you know, uh, Boys and Girls Club. We, we, uh, we help with uh, some of the things that some of the high schools uh, at uh, Dos Palabos, um, like the DP cheer team and, and a lot of different things like that. But it's really focused on youth. Mm -hmm. And that's our primary focus is mm -hmm. youth. And, and try to uh, uh, engage kids that maybe wouldn't necessarily have the funds to, to be engaged in these different programs. Um, you know, the, like the Civil Air Patrol, we support the Civil Air Patrol, which is, I think, a great program for kids to get involved in, in aviation and things like that. And, and I know that the uh, Noontime Club is, is supporting the uh, Sheriff's Cadet Program. Right. And right. so uh, it is really all focused on youth. That is good. Um, I did notice one thing, and that is that everybody walks away happy. And yes, oh, yeah. it's a lots of huge, smiles. A lot of smiles. Yeah, Even the ones children, outside, they're happy. happy. <laughs> But, but that is good, and it's very orderly. That's one thing that was very yeah. impressive yeah. Uh, about the event itself is that right. it's so family-oriented. Right. That That's it, it why we have well. a gate, and we do charge a fee. So they are funneled through there. We check backpacks. There isn't, there isn't alcoholism, and there's no, no gangs, no fights. No. It's all happy and friendly. I, there's never any incidents. It's just a happy – that's the whole goal, you know, happy, fun. And people fun. are cooperative. Yeah. I mean, very much so right. on that. You right. Don't they, see any issues. And the families appreciate that, too. They, they want a good, safe place to bring their families. Picnic time, barbecue time. Yes. I see blankets, chairs right. everywhere, all right. over yeah. the place. So they yeah. come out nice. early in the day and park out, find their spot. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Rotary actually, uh, International actually uh, – rated this as one of the top 10 community events in the world. I don't know if you were aware of that. I didn't know that. that. Was, How exciting. That, that is a big one, and that's quite the compliment. That is very exciting. Really? Yeah, I had not known that. <laughs> With that, thank you very much, both Certainly. of you, for all you do yes. for that community of Galea. That's, that's huge, and well, you're the payback enjoy part it. is big. Our With pleasure. that, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, take a look at next year's 4th of July in Galea. It's a great event run by some great people. Rotary gives back all of that back into the community, so it is making a difference. With that, thank you very much, and we will see you next time.